cross over the border into Kansas territory, and you'll soon after find signs of a popular folk hero. And especially in Douglas County, you'll see John Brown celebrated. On the pop culture icon scale, he is somewhere like a James Dean or a Johnny Cash of Kansas. And right now, a new exhibit is introducing him to a brand new audience. And hello again, this is Maddie D with Explore Lawrence, where today we're at another amazing attraction here in Lawrence, Kansas. We're at the Watkins Museum of History, where today we will be encountering John Brown. My name is Natalie Vondrak. I'm the Museum Administration Fellow here at the Watkins Museum. John Brown is an abolitionist, and he is a prominent historical figure um, in Civil War history. He is controversial, and I think as people engage with the exhibit, they're learning different perspectives, different opinions about him, and it really gives you a new look and a new perspective for yourself to think, who was this man? As you move throughout the exhibit, you are going to read about the complicated nature of John Brown's legacy. There's even an area where you can vote whether you consider John Brown himself to be a martyr, a murderer, or somewhere in between. I'm going to cast my vote right now. You should come down and see where the consensus is. So I'm originally from Iowa, and although I've had my own Civil War history growing up and in college, John the things I've learned about John Brown has just blown my mind. Um, and what I love about this exhibit is that he had such a, a wide network. Um, we talk about networking today, but he was um, a trailblazer for that in the Civil War era. Um, he knew so many people and that's what this exhibit highlights. Um, just who he knew personally, um, who he corresponded with, and all the people really talking about him during that time. One of the first panels that you encounter is um, Harriet Tubman. So Harriet Tubman knew John Brown. They met personally, um, as well as corresponded. And you know, when you think of Harriet Tubman, you automatically associate the Underground Railroad with her, but you learn so much more and the perspective that John Brown had on her, that she was, he called her a commander. So I think you learn just her national presence um, in the Civil War era and her, her efforts as um, a military leader, which I don't think a lot of people realize. Um, as well as um, her efforts in women's suffrage movement. This is an avenue that we are going to explore more um, because this history not only reflects the local community but, um, as, but plays a bigger part nationally. So, you know, our goal here is to get people more, more people into Lawrence um, and visit the community, um, experience downtown, um, and learn something as they're here, while they're here. Hi, I'm Amanda, the lead educator at the Watkins Museum of History. Come visit us. So Amanda was kind enough to give me a punch here on the brochure. So before you head out onto Mass Street and to check out the rest of downtown Lawrence, be sure to pick up a stamp here and get some great discounts on some other local businesses. If your first stop is the Encountering John Brown exhibit, there's much more to explore um, in Lawrence as well as Douglas County, Blackjack Battlefield, um, where he had his notorious battle, which some historians say is the first uh, conflict in the Civil War. Um, you can also visit Grover Barn, where he stopped on the Underground Railroad. Thank you, Matt and Explore Lawrence, for stopping by today. Uh, we appreciate your efforts in promoting this exhibit.